Hey, welcome everybody to the live stream. My name is Steph. So this is being recorded Sunday night, well, Sunday evening, five o'clock. I figure I do a little bit of Q&A. I'll cover a few quick topics. Uh, we'll make it a short stream, which usually means a half an hour or so, but I'm gonna try to keep it short. So greetings. Hmm. All right, cool questions. Greetings from Stockholm, Stefan. I was wondering if MATLAB experience would help one land in a software developer position. I'm having a master's and will mostly use lab, MATLAB for coding assignments. Sure, MATLAB will help any coding experience, but usually they're gonna want experience related to the particular type of coding that you're gonna be doing, okay? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's um, jump into it. I'm gonna just do my bookkeeping here, first of all. Uh, speaking of books, uh, people ask me what books to read. If you've done, for example, links below, the Studio Web Foundations courses, you want to get this book next or the JavaScript version of this book. It's called Refactoring. This teaches you how to clean up your code. Highly recommended, highly recommended. Uh, by the way, how's the audio on this? Can you, uh, can you guys hear it clearly? I hope so. Uh, and uh, if you're learning HTML and CSS, then I highly recommend my book. Again, links below, you can get it on uh, Amazon. Uh, very good book. Um, evergreen, although I wrote it a while back, so that's it. So let me know if the sound is good, you can hear as well. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I forgot to position the mic in the optimal position, but I think we're okay. Oh, <laughs> good question. Thoughts on GameStop stock? Thoughts on GameStop stock? Um, yeah, it's that, that's a wild situation there, right? If I were you, I, would, uh, I wouldn't be jumping in now. Uh, classic short squeeze. I would have to look at the short squeeze percentage remaining. Of course, we don't get that until the end of the month, which means... Oh, by the way, new camera setup. This way I can uh, do things like this much more easily. All right. You let me know what you think of the dual camera. Um, I don't have to think about it. It just goes boom. All right. So, um, yeah, GameStop. I don't know if I jump into that right now. Huge moves have been made. It's, that's pretty funny to watch. I was involved in something like that a decade ago with Blockbuster. I had bought a big position in Blockbuster with the assumption because there was such a huge short position. And I thought, uh, uh, so I loaded up a bunch of stock and I was waiting for the short squeeze to happen. And uh, and then I, I, I read the 10K one day and I got, unfortunately I got scared out of my position. And two days later the short squeeze happened. That move cost me uh, tens and tens of thousands of dollars. But anyway, yeah. I think you could put your mic anywhere and we would still listen to you, legit ASMR. <laughs> I am the ASMR lizard coding king. So what do you think of this new camera setup? This is camera number two. And uh, camera number one will click in in about uh, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Camera number one. So that's camera number one. Let me know. Uh, so it was 4 a.m. Wow. How you approach clients in initial days online as freelancer. Uh, very well written English, if they're English, or very well written. Make sure it's concise to the point. Make sure your website looks amazing. Uh, this is uh, very important. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think about this two camera setup. If it's is it is it too quick to change? Is the change too quick, or or is that at a good rate? I'm just trying to uh, make it a bit interesting for you guys. Hi, Steph. Checking in from snowy London, UK. What do you see as the commercial uptake for Vue.js? Our organization is going to to go for it given its open source nature. Um, it seems to be rising quite quickly. Um, I think Vue has got a lot of good things going for it. In all honesty though, I haven't looked at um, it, its commercial position at this recent, at this point in time. Just, just do some job searches, check out, check the jobs, see if the jobs make sense or not, you know. Uh, nice softbox, what brand? Hold on. Lofas, L-A-O, 
F-A-S, L-A-O-F-A-S. Very good, it's got the quick snaps. <laughs> Works very good, and I'm using uh, Godox lights. Uh, very good, I got a lot of Godox lights, which I really enjoy, I think they're pretty good. Oh yeah, camera number one is far better. Ta camera, this is camera number one, this is a, uh, a $10,000 cinema camera. And uh, camera number two, right here, boom, is the iPhone 12. So, uh, yeah, better beat camera number one's better. Checking in from the sunny D Dominican Republic. Ah, good place. Mama Juana's. I love Mama Juana's. Mama Juana's are great. There's camera. All right. Um, how much time should I put in a day to learn JavaScript? It is go good to learn Vanilla JS and React in 21. Yeah, you learn your Vanilla JS. And then you can go into React, you can go into Vue, you can do Angular, whatever you want. Um, how much a day? Um, I always recommend, and everybody's a little different, three to four hours a day max of uh, intense learning. And give yourself some days off too. You gotta give yourself some days off. You gotta drink a little water too. Cheers, everybody. Some water to lubricate the brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's your view on automation testers? Um, automation testers. I don't know. What, when, what, what view do you want me to have? What, what context? In terms of jobs? In terms of what's the, what's the question? How do I get into cybersecurity? Where to start? Learn cybersecurity. But I'm not a cyber cybersecurity expert, so I may not be the best person to ask. Do you know no code movement? Do you know the no code movement? Well, yeah, no code. It's it's growing again with you know tools like um, Webflow. I think is one of them. Um, they're good. Uh, do I think they're going to be a panacea, meaning they're going to replace coders? Not even close. But they should be something you look into and you consider for your particular work, whatever that may be. Uh, any tips on how to make money with code? Yeah, number one, start freelancing. That's the easiest. Number two, get a job. Well, number, number two is probably the easiest. No, number one, get a job. Number two, freelance. Number three, build a SaaS software. <sighs> I'm starting a web design company that makes static websites. Many of my competitors are making websites with WordPress. What are the advantages you would say of static websites? Um, I, I guess for simple sites that don't need to be updated all the time, then static websites are uh, cool. Um, I would lean towards using WordPress, in all honesty, simp simply because once you understand the uh, WordPress theme structure, which is not difficult, uh, you can then uh, build essentially a static website with WordPress using, the, they have this thing called pages in WordPress. And uh, you should be good with that. Um, and then if they ever wanted to expand it to update pages, it would be trivial for you. But both are good, you know. But I wouldn't be married to one type of implementation or another. I would just go with what it is uh, that you want to do. Is it normal to forget the basics? Yes, especially when you're first starting out. For example, I've been working with Laravel for a couple of years, but I forget some stuff with vanilla PHP. Um, yeah, I, I tell people all the time, I literally forget more than I remember today. There's no question about that. Um, I, but again, what, if you know the concepts, then you just, you know, you just, you go into um, the docs, your IDE can help you a lot as well in that regard. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Uh, code O, for us self-taught people, how can we know when is enough learning and it's time to seek jobs? Uh, you just gotta be able to, to I'll, I'll talk about the web stack, you know, you should, you should know front end, you should know what response to web design, HTML5, uh, CSS3, you should understand um, HTTP, basic, basic, basic security, basic databases. You should be able to basically, if you want to do full stack, be able to put together a simple login system. And then you can just start pursuing your career, um, building simple things. Um, you develop your skills as you go and you should learn to code as you're being paid. That's how I would suggest it. I hope that helps. If you want to know, if you do my certifications, my certifications, you pass those, you're ready to go. Hey, Steph, greetings from Sicily. Hey, 
How can I do translation transition from Unity Give Dev to C Shack Full Start? Oh, let me try it again. Switching uh, switch me off. Uh, with C Sharp to full stack with JS with Node and React in order to not lose skills. How can I do the transition from Unity to Give? I don't know. Just start doing uh, full stack JS projects on the side and take it from there. So you got to get past that point where you you look at yourself as this type of coder or that type of coder. You should try to ev elevate your game to you are a developer. And the languages and the stacks are just tools that you use depending on the needs of the job. Mm. Do you think Windows will die in the next future? No chance. Hello from Turkey. Hey, how are you? Hello from Greece, from France. Bonjour, bonjour. Uh, hold on. What do you suggest? Where should I start if I want to move into cloud computing and cloud solution architect? Whoa. I, that is outside of my uh, range of skills. I would first thing do is look at job opportunities, first of all. I would look at job opportunities, and once you figure out the job opportunities, then you can uh, go into, um, uh, then you can decide which technologies to pursue, right? Best caching mechanism. Oof, that depends on their stack, right? A good, uh, assuming web, a good MVC uh, framework will have caching built in for you. What is the thoughts on C Sharp and the next.NET framework? I don't have any at this point. It's not going anywhere. That's what I think. It's not going anywhere. Uh, if you may, can you make time of switching cameras a little bit longer? That's a good uh, good suggestion. I will do that. Yeah, I will do that. Thanks for the feedback. That's what I'm looking for. First experiment with this whole new camera switching thing, so I figure I would uh, experiment with that. Hey, Stefan, sure would be nice to see lots of more thumb showing in the stream. Yeah, that would be great. If you like the stream, there's a hundred of us, please give me a thumbs up. It's good for the Google algos and tells me whether or not you guys enjoy this sort of content or not, okay? All right, let's go on. Uh, how would you price a large project like an Uber e service? <laughs> how much roughly would you take for such a project? Oh man, that's a big question. It's like saying, how much would you charge for a huge house? And how much would it depend? You know, are you putting marble, Carrera marble in there? Are you putting Sydney marble? Is it two stories, four stories? Uh, uh, what kind of lighting are you putting in there? Um, there's a lot of questions. Same thing with you know, if, uh, you know, an app. You know, it depends on what you, the features are. That has to be all priced out. Thanks for the thumbs, guys. I appreciate it. It's always cool. Uh, hello, I just finished course of CS50. What I need to know to start some making money. I don't know CS50. Um, what you should do is. Um, Pick up my freelance course, which teaches you how to plan and price and negotiate and run a project, a web development project. And that will give you a lot of information right there. It has five templates. That would be your next step. Greetings from Australia, but you have to buy me a coffee. Mm. Mark Anthony. Hey, Steph. Hey, Steph, from the Caribbean, how can I tap into the European job market for a global freelance market? Look to make side income along with my current job. I guess you have to do it online, online sites. Um, you know, start, pick, do some research in that regard. Find a good um, community, a marketplace. I don't know what it would be necessarily. And then start developing your reputation there. One thing you got to understand, as a pro developer, you have to learn to develop some reputation. That's such a key part of it. Such a key part of it. Hi, sorry for my English. For junior back-end developer here to begin, where to begin? Is freelance good choice and how to make name as a brand to have clients for sure? Yeah, freelance is a good choice. You start off with simple projects, and then um, as you become more experienced, you can start pursuing more advanced projects. Hello, Zaid. Thanks for coming to my stream. Hey, Steph. Wagwan. Wagwan. I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, 
see what the next one is. Whoops, sorry. Where can I where can I learn more about setting up setting my app into production server stuff and all that? So we're gonna have some streaming issues. Uh, all right. So just so you know, uh, my web design book. If you're a beginner, you pick that up. Amazon links below. This is for total beginners. And you know what? I'll switch to uh, Mr. iPhone. And if you have some experience. Links below. This is the Java version. Teaches you how to refactor, how to up to level up your code. And that doesn't matter what language. They have a JavaScript version as well. If you do this, this is going to really level up your coding skills. There's no question about that. All right. Um, hey, Michael. How are you? Hi from Austria. I hope you're doing well, Steph. What do you think about Google Firebase DB? Worth giving it a try? Well, if you think there's a need for it, you know, you could definitely look at it. I have not used it, so um, I have no opinion on it per se, but I know it's fairly popular. It's one of many solutions. Is Flutter fluttering? I don't know. It seems to be doing pretty well. I haven't looked at it recently, but uh, when I looked at it in the past, is it was good. Is product design a satisfying career path? Depends on the individual. How do you ask questions? How do you ask questions? By post asking a question. Thank you so much for your videos. I'm glad I could help Herman. I appreciate that. I appreciate the thumbs up, everybody. It helps with the algos. So, you know. Hey, are you still coding? What do you do in live out of YouTube? Cheers from France. Um, I don't code anymore. I manage Studio Web, studioweb.com, which is my SaaS. And um, so I manage my uh, devs when we're doing upgrades. The software is pretty mature now. Uh, so my role is kind of architect and just big picture, if you will. Uh, YouTube is more or less a hobby for me, but it's also been very good in terms of gener generating interest in what I do. I've picked up schools because of YouTube, which surprised me, which is cool. And um, I just enjoy it. I enjoy it. There's no question. I also have interest. I have ownership in other businesses outside of tech. Mm. Um, five G technologies are going to change everything for programming. Real time cloud computing. Where? Why there are so many misinformation about five G? Low latency will change the world. Yeah, yeah, you know, as I've been saying uh, for a couple, few years now, that I believe that the web stack is going to continue to grow in importance because a uh, smartphone, uh, where is that thing? There we go. Smartphones are just getting smarter and more powerful, um, and um, and five G, you know, it's just getting, you know, things are just moving so quickly, so that the need for native development is becoming less and less important. So yeah. When should I learn data structures? Do your foundations of coding, uh, development, your basic languages. And then all you have to do is uh, just do some very basic stuff. Um, there's overemphasis in the nerd, nerd community amongst the noobling nerds, but you got to become a data, you got to become a data structure expert, you got to become an algo expert. Depends on what you're doing. Uh, hey, Steph, been working as a full stack engineer now, even becoming pretty good with DevOps like Kubernetes and service meshes, etc. I feel like this hurts my CV sometimes, but I don't desire to specialize. All right, well, you should adjust your CV for every t type of job that you're looking at. Okay. Let's see if we can help out Sky here. Please help me. I am lost. I tried web dev, coding, programmer, game dev. I kept jumping over and over. I don't know what to do. Have you tried getting a job, even a stagiaire job? You, you, you don't want to, um, I don't know if you were working or not. Uh, maybe you're just doing courses, uh, tutorials. I don't know. You got to get out there in the real world and actually write real production code start working in a real project environment. That will really give you a much better idea about what type of work you want to do. Uh, okay. 
Ricardo. Hey, Stan, your videos and full stack course are amazing. I would like to know if it's possible to land a first job in web dev in a remote position. Example, I'm in Brazil and position in the US and Europe. It's possible. Uh, make sure you have uh, the great website. Uh, make sure you've done a couple, two to three little free projects so you have some resume. And it looks like you write well. That's good. And just start banging on doors with that. Maybe go work, do some remote non work for nonprofits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, hello there, lovely Ruby developer. How are you today? <laughs> just joking. Uh, what else do we got here? How are we doing for time? Is the stream clear, you guys? We got some uh, stream warnings. Uh, I assume that the stream, the video is coming in nice and clearly. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, yeah, what else do we got here? All right. Um, Julian says, what do you think about MIS, Management in Information Systems, CS, Computer Science, and CIS? I'm not sure what that is. Um, I would look at the job opportunities and do a little research about what the jobs are about, see what you like. You know, I think in the first year or two, you could probably pivot if you decided you didn't like one over the other and take, take your elective courses over. There's a lot of freelancing jobs. Yes, there are. Uh, where is best to start my agency, USA or Canada? Well, if you're in the US or Canada, you can work on either side. Uh, Canada and the US are the two largest trading partners in the world, like dollar-wise. Huge amounts of money is exchanged, so uh, you should be good in either place. Isn't reputation easily destroyed by insane former customer? I don't know. You just got to manage your clients. The key, I talk about that on my freelance course. Links below. Shameless self-plug. Uh, a big part about being successful as a freelancer is managing the client and their expectations. So if they're crazy, by having, um, by implementing the protocols I teach in my uh, freelance course, um, you will help avoid a lot of the crazy and screen out the crazy and avoid the crazy stuff. What's going on here? Chris Creative, laugh out. When you know when the Jamaicans come through, Juan, Wagwan means what's up. Ah, Wagwan. All right. Now I know. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Not too much. Just having some water because I ate too much uh, rhubarb pie today and Ritz, Kratzer, Kr Ritz crackers. So now I'm not feeling too good. Mm. How long does it take to usually settle into a new job? I have two years experience, but still feel overwhelmed two weeks into my new job. Uh, it could take a month or two, you know, because you gotta get, you gotta know what you know, their technology stack is and so forth, you know what I mean? What else we got? Will you be including, including Ruby in the Lizard Wizard? Very funny. This guy's Shane's pretty funny. I'm currently in B school. What skills can I learn to compare in today's world? In B school? What does that mean? I know what B school is. Uh, I read that book in 2004. Oh, you mean the refactoring book? Yeah, this one's been around for a while. I think the original edition is 1999. I had it, and I bought this new edition because I, I, I dog-eared the old one. Yeah, the original edition is 1999. This is a 2003 edition. Um, this is Java, and I have links below to the JavaScript version that you people might be more interested in. Very good books. Is MVC pattern outdated, or should I just, or should I use a JavaScript framework? Uh, MVC and JavaScript frameworks are not um, apples and oranges, right? I think Express, yeah, Express is an MVC style framework. MVC, in case you guys don't know, it's just, it's a design pattern. It's a way, it's a, the most prominent and accepted way of developing applications that have a visual interface. MVC is short for model, 
view and controller. Uh, you can find videos in my YouTube where I talk about all that. Uh, is emotional stability important for a programmer? It's super important, super important. It's one of the most important things you can have in life. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Oftentimes the difference between successful people and not successful people has everything to do with emotional stability. Uh, not intelligent. Some of the smartest guys I know, like a couple guys in question come to mind, they're literally geniuses. Now, the term genius is thrown around too much, but they're literally geniuses. Uh, for me, I define a genius as somebody who has, uh, uh, they're idiot savants. They're able to pick up things super easily. They can think in very complex and uh, abstract ways, very quickly uh, discern reality. Uh, but they're both really emotionally stable, so they have tough lives, uh, but they're really smart. So yes, emotional stability is key. That's why I'm putting out my Lizard Wizard course to help you guys to understand how your brain's actually working and will help you with emotional stability amongst so many other things. Why do developers get paid more than designers? Because there is a barrier to entry, a perceived barrier to entry, uh, where you have to learn all these fundamentals before you can jump into the game. Whereas design, you know, you, you can, you, you don't need to learn much to be able to put out crappy looking design. Um, that's one of the biggest reasons why. Um, that's why in my structure, I teach those fundamentals to get you there quick. Damn, this live is the best for me and I have questions, but I have to sleep. It's 1.36 a.m. and I have an exam in five hours. I have to watch it later. Well, good luck with the exam. Get some sleep. Don't worry. There'll be many more lives. You can catch me later. Good luck with the exam. Get that sleep. Very important. You want to get that brain. Uh, how is the Canadian economy doing? Well, it's hard to say because we're still in lockdown. But uh, it's, it depends who you're talking to. Some of my friends, my business is fine because I'm distance, distance learning. Uh, some of my friends' businesses are doing fantastic. Some are like zeroed out. It really depends. By the way, by the way, thank you. I have learned much more from than I learned from college. I have learned from her from, I guess, from me. Well, good. I'm glad I could help. Fantastic. Good luck with your exam tomorrow. Please, Steve, please tell me how to get a remote job. Where's Steve? Steve, where'd you go? <laughs> uh, I'm living in Southeast Asia. I'm a full stack developer. Yes, I do freelancing, but I want real job, perhaps remote job. Put up a real good website. Make sure your, your written skills are really good and start and make sure that site looks amazing. Make sure you got a couple of nice projects you can showcase. And uh, yeah, and just start applying for jobs. Allagram, how are you doing? I hope everything's good. Where can I see, oh, next one. We're gonna see how companies write codes because I am looking for job. Mm. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, I would, um, go to a company website, check out what they're doing. Uh, maybe they'll discuss the stacks that they use. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Texas is too flat and humid. So I left <laughs> China's building 6G. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Pick a programming language and learn it uh, in a good course if it's an OOP based language like Python, uh, Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, you know, uh, then um, you'll learn OOP and then uh, then you can just, you can, you'll have a much better ability to make a decision about what you want to do next. All right, I graduated in 2019, never got a job af after a year of heavy grab applying, probably due to no insurance. Been working to a tech job for years, is it too late for it? No, 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 it's not too late for you. Did you put up a nice looking website? Did you do a couple of free jobs for nonprofits or small businesses so you can get some experience? Did you make sure your resumes were tailored towards the jobs you were applying to? Make sure they were nice, concise, well-written resumes. These are things you have to do. Uh, also, uh, this was one of the worst years in 100 years to apply for jobs because of the pandemic. So don't worry, 
You have lots of opportunity. Okay. Arch It Talks has to say something about Google Firebase. Google Firebase has so many limitations. I have ruined my project. How to how do you deal with such problems where you have to rebuild full project architect India? Well, you're going to have to just uh, divide your project into components. If your project was properly uh, developed, you should be able to isolate the Firebase uh, interface and swap in something else. But yeah, that sucks. What is the future of, but it's doable, it's fixable. What is the future of iOS? It is very good. It has about 50% of the global market share and over 50% of the US market share. Would you suggest someone to get into iOS for a future job? There's a lot of opportunity there. I think though, cross-platform mobile is a better choice. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's been a half an hour. Uh, good evening, Louis. Uh, Okay, so we got we got good. Okay, we're streaming well. That's good. Good. If you will react in 2021, take a look at the local job listings. You know, is that a candle in the background, right here? No, that is a um, a tungsten light bulb. That is a light bulb that runs about 800 Kelvin. This light here is 5200 Kelvin. The higher the, the number, the Kelvin number, the more white the light is. This is daylight. This is like sunset fire firelight. That's it. Um, when you get into videography, which is my hobby, you learn to think in terms of light color. So these are just lights, different colors. Oh, 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 there we go. Light one, light two. Actually, we have a light here too. But anyway. Hey, Kyle Lashray, tuning in from the Bahamas. That's one place I gotta go. I've been to Barbados, I've been to the Dominican Republic. Where else have I been? At the tip in Florida, I wanna go to Bahamas. Have I been to Bahamas? I don't think I've been to Bahamas, I gotta go. How to deal with managers who play favorites and treat you differently just because you're still junior no matter what you do. Just, just make sure your coding skills are top notch, your communication skills are top notch and uh, Hi from Morocco and screw the king, my, okay, all right. If you had to choose between a couple of slack, like a couple, excuse me, a couple of slack stack, <laughs> like Django or API based web stack, but back end plus front end, how would you choose? Mm, it's all project specific, man. It's all project specific. I don't have that in my head wrapped around that. All right, yeah. How hard can it be? Damn, just about to go to bed and NFC Stefan is live. Well, sorry about that, guy. Uh, how hard can it be? I'm going to be closing off the stream notes pretty soon. I'm getting tired. I ate too many Ritz crackers and rhubarb pie. Now I'm not feeling well. Um, yeah, if you like the stream, give me a thumbs up. We have 163 people and only 70 lousy thumbs. I appreciate it. It's just good for the old Google algorithms, you know. Uh, what else? Uh, Thailand. Ah, I love Thailand. I spent a month in Thailand uh, years back, uh, Bangkok and then Krabi. Good times. Best sh street pad thai in the world. <laughs> you would think, right? If I, if, if you were a, to give advice to a junior engineer, what would it be? Um, write code, keep an open mind, get very good with your communication skills, uh, simplify everything, uh, simplify and uh, I would um, get this book if you, there's, there's links below this is the Java one this is gonna level up your coding game in a huge way and there's a there is a um, JavaScript one as well so that's what I would suggest that you do uh, do you think picking up designing skills is mo is is a most getting into freelancing no is a must, I, I suppose. Not at all. Um, just learn the basics, rules of design, alignment, font use, color mixing, just the basics. And then I, if you're not a designer type, you're more of a coder, then I would just use templates or partner with a designer type. I have built a desktop app aimed at the aerospace engineering sector. Any tips on how to approach potential clients to monetize this app? 
You gotta find your first client and get it in their hands and give it to them. See what they say. Our developers, our developers were created to solve problems and build apps to perform this task only. I don't know what you mean by that sentence, so try again. Uh, currently in junior year, of co junior year of college. Cool. Hey, Stefan from Portugal. You're my favorite 169-year-old YouTuber. I have been working as a Python developer with some knowledge in data science. Do you think a shift to full-stack developer is worth it? Look at the job opportunities. What I do, set up a website, uh, learn the basics of the full stack if you don't already know it, and then do one or two little side projects while you have, still have your data science Python job and see if you like it. Try it out. Dip your toe. Date the job. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Rust language? Niche language? Apparently, uh, according to my C++ buddy, he said he would rather use Rust to develop something new than C++. And this guy, is, he's been writing C++ for many years. So that tells you something. Uh, let's see what we got here. Are we doing? Okay, we're we'll closing off soon. Is it better to go with React.js, well supported with a lot of good library, or go with Vue.js? What I like more, but is less library. Let the jobs dictate that. Let the jobs dictate that, and then you should be okay. Uh, here's another good book. What's a good program to start using for beginners? Check out my studio web below. You can do my Python. You can do my full stack. You got nothing to lose since um, <laughs> um, you got nothing to lose since you got a money back guarantee. Hi, Steph. What do you think about Twitter and Facebook censorship? I think that people are... Uh, I don't go political, you know, but all of our freedoms come from freedom of speech. Just remember that. Why do developers hate Angular? It seems like it's... like this is the current trend. I haven't used Angular. I looked at Angular, Vue, and React very quickly a few years back, and I found Angular is just overly complex. Um, I think I would go with React or Vue personally. Steph, I'm having a hard time learning OOP, PHP. Any recommendations? Yeah, go to my site. I have a free 22-step tutorial on killerphp.com slash OOP. Um, and there, there's video and also just written. Just follow those, those 22 steps. You'll probably learn a bunch it uh, used to be the number one search term. You typed in OOP PHP. Let's go to, you know what, just go to Google, type in killer PHP OOP, and you find it. I wrote it years ago, but it's still 100% accurate because the basics of OOP has not changed. You'll probably learn it. Let me know in the next stream. Try it out. That's your homework. Go do it now. Uh, is emotional stability important? Of course, super important. Well, d don't get married if you can't help it. <laughs> uh, there's a high probability you'll bork your career. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> oh my God! Vet your your partners extremely well, whether it be your marriage partners or your business partners. Vet them very, 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 very well, very well. Either side, either side, at least two years. Two, before you do anything serious. Hello, Madame Zorbas from Toronto. I hope everything is good. A developer can be a tech company owner via developing a successful application. Yes, without a doubt. And I have friends who've gotten very big now doing that. So yeah. Why is programming very hard sometimes? That's the nature of the game. But usually your problem is going to be in some lack of understanding of the fundamentals. So learn your fundamentals, all right? Are PWAs honestly the future? I think they're going to be a big part of the future. I think they're going to dominate. Uh, all right, I'm going to end it off now. Uncle Steph is tired from eating too many Ritz crackers. Um, let me know what you think of um, my new dual camera setup. Uh, just to recap, if you got coding skills, you want to level up your game, forget the tutorials. This is the book for you. Links below. There's one for JavaScript, one for Java. And you're a total noob. Oh, there we go. You're a total noob. My book, 
Web design, start, start here. Start here. All right. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for joining the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, that's pretty much it. Give me a thumbs up. I'll end off with the ASMR video from Maine, one of my favorite places in the world. If you're feeling a little tense, a little uh, now because you're locked up with COVID or for whatever reasons, this video will help calm you down. Nice deep breath. I'll keep it going for a couple of minutes so you guys can enjoy it. This is Cape Elizabeth, Maine, USA, one of the nicest places to visit in the summertime. Thanks for watching.